so this video is going to be like super helpful if you're a young adult you just get started with life you want to hear all these these stories so you know you know what to do when you're there so yeah and also here yeah, i escaped so thank you and i can't wait to see you at the end of this video love you and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be telling you why i quit my job i've never done a story time and i hope that i do well today so um you know this thing that you see on social media walk talk city. yes so i never knew it was real until i experienced it firsthand exactly so um i got this place you saw it i was so excited you know you get to work in a new environment you get to new, meet new people you young adults you've never worked in a place so you're really excited so i get into this place and the backlash i get <laughs> the first time backlash i get it's really uh, not encouraging because you know when you're in an environment to work you expect to better yourself get better you know improve your skills and learn a thing or two from this place and i get to this environment the first person that meets me because i'm not working here so they leave a bunch of uniforms for me so when i come over i can so they leave a bunch of uniforms for me so when i test i can wear them so i get into this place i test the uniforms they're not my size and you know i change it to something else i see so the next thing um some girl there that works there you know is like why are you wearing that and like who told you to wear that and i'm like this is the first time you're meeting me you don't mean to act like this and you know so that was the first one and the next thing she's like playing too tall and i'm like why are you like giving me this attitude you're not being first hand with me so okay another thing i noticed is that because here's the this is the Yoruba land, they speak Yoruba here. So, and I'm Ibu, my Ibu girl, I'm Ibu. So, I enter this place, sometimes when I'm sitting down with them, they switch up and start speaking Yoruba. Then, there's this other Ibu girl, so she comes in and they stop it. I don't know why, I don't know if they know her or something. So, the next thing, you know, as an Ibu person, I, because, you know, there was this Ibu statement she made, I was like, um, Choma Imasibu, which means Choma, do you not speak Igbo? And she's like, no vernacular, please. Why? Almost like she fled up at me, and I was like, oh my god, this is just my second day. Like, <laughs> I should not be getting treated this way. Like, this is so unnecessary and uncalled for because, like, like why would you even be acting that way? Okay, so that is just like personal encounters and everything. The other thing I noticed is that, um, this is my second day and they were already telling me to like prepare medications for patients i wasn't even like i haven't even learned the place well because this is a place that i just started working in it's a very really cool chill place i like the place but the people that i met there made me to leave to be honest it's not like i wanted to leave but you know when you're going to work and you're not feeling excited you're feeling when you're leaving work you're feeling drained your, the, the environment you're in is not because they don't want you to grow in the sense that when you ask questions you're being shunned but like they try to make it seem like they are nice they're like if you have any questions answer but they don't want your growth i really really like i would really advise you to leave that place because why i knew that the best decision is to leave that place is because if i had stayed i'm not sure i'll be smiling every time because um the environment wasn't enabling it wasn't encouraging and i'm a really jovial person and i'm really um i'm always smiling i'm always happy and the environment they kind of like okay someone actually told me that i just let me just say it she was like you have to be coming down you don't have to be all jovial and everything here i was like wow i'm not saying i should be i'm not playing i'm not jumping up and down but like you should be able to coexist with your person and for me coexisting with people is actually smiling 
like you know you know when someone wants to say something you smile you encourage them to speak that's it for me and you telling me that i'm jovial mm, really so this is that basically all the girls there they were really nice to me and they are mainly ladies so i don't know the thing about women you know on social media everybody's like supporting women today's international women's day and uh, mm, sorry yesterday <laughs> happy international women's day all my beautiful ladies out there that keep on really like you really do it you really want girls to grow not just typing it on social media because the girls there they literally didn't want me to grow to the extent that even i even stayed in the bus we won i forgot to not even acknowledge me like i'm not saying that should acknowledge me but like you know you're seeing your own person at the bus you're not even like that's when i knew that uh -uh these people here they don't like me like they don't like me like they do not like me i was always so scared like i was so scared and fidgety here so even if i was going to learn like i, I won't be i won't be like i won't be myself because i'm so like oh my god am i going to do it right oh my god what about if i don't do it right they're going to like shout and you know sometimes there'll be tears here and i was just like breathe in breathe out. i was like no these girls are not going to see me cry for what who are you people eh it was just like so much and i just feel like no one should ever ever go through this in their life like never i would never want anyone i know or love even if i don't know you even if you're just someone i just would never want someone to go through work to see because you will not even feel happy at work you would always feel like you want to run away and it's not nice um there were so many times i caught myself crying even when I would come home, I always like tell my people like, oh my God, look at what happened. They'll be like, ah, Jesus. Oh, they just tell me to just, you know, hold on because I applied for um, a job and another place. So I just waiting, hoping on God. So the next thing, um, I got the job application. I got to be like, oh my God, come for your prayers. I mean, pre-employment test, everything. That was on the like fifth, fourth day. So I was like, oh my God. I went up, I just calmed down. Like nothing happened. I went upstairs. I just called my mom. I said, oh my God. No, I did a snap. Now so, so one does Jesus they do. Now so, so one does Jesus they do. Because like, you know when God knows that his child is hot, he knew I was hot. He knew I wasn't happy. And I said, my baby girl, come, let me take you to a better place. Because you can't take you and be taking shit from nobody. So I moved. I moved like Jesus wanted me to. I was so happy. I was so happy. Like, you know, how can you imagine? Like, oh my God, I was so happy. I was so grateful. I was so, so happy. Like, you know, I didn't even care. And that day they were like getting on my nerves. They were choking me with pressure. And they were just trying to hurt me. I was smiling. To the extent that one girl was like, why are you smiling? I smiling. This thing I was reading because they were asking me questions. I wasn't really getting all of them because guy, I just came in here. I don't know everything. So they were getting pissed off. Me, I was just smiling like, hey, I will learn. <laughs> oh God, I was so happy. And yes, they're just like, yes. Yeah. So that's this girl that came in a week before me. A week before me. Imagine someone that comes in a week before you giving your attitude. Like that was when I knew that mm -mm, this place is not for me. Mm -mm. God has bigger plans bigger plans for you no matter where you are no matter if you think that you cannot get another job because of where you work is hurting or you know it's too much for you let me tell you you are much better living that situation just start applying to other jobs because you will get it just pray do the hard work put in your work you will get that job you get that job it's much better than that situation you're in and I'm, I'm just telling you firsthand because <laughs> um that place i was working in it was further from my house they were paying me less you know the environment wasn't enabling i wasn't happy every time i'll come back i'll be drained i always go home at like two nine and everything i would always leave very early well the new place i go was closer to my house they were paying me more the environment is like oh my god i'm so happy like i always come back i'm smiling i my god i was I was like oh my god god had bigger plans. okay when i was going for my pre-employment test that's going to be in another video let's just show you some of the things i went through around the, you know 
I just saw a guy wearing bracelets. And you know I make bracelets. Like he was wearing like stack of bracelets that I know my brand does. And I was like, no, this is a sign. <laughs> Honey, this is a sign. The last day I was leaving the job, um, I was, you know, I told you now there are pressure and everything. So when I was just leaving work, I was just like crying. I was shaking outside. I was with my max and with my glasses so i was like no one is going to know no one even knows me here so i was just crying and you know i was not crying because of i was happy you just know that i was crying because it was too much to take the everything i was going through i didn't like it it was it was traumatizing and i wasn't happy and i was posting pictures on instagram and no one even could tell i just told my friend that she was just like yeah, it's supposed to be a fine girl but she was, i was just laughing because you know it wasn't funny like that that environment wasn't nice ah, i would never wish that on anybody so yeah that's my story i didn't really put everything inside here but like that's the tip of the iceberg that's what happens i know people have had worse stories than me i know this is nothing for some people but knowing my mental space my mental health i'm knowing how things affect her i always try to like not be in situations like that i don't want to get her hot up and everything so i walked away and i walked away for a better thing ah god but just know i didn't walk away because of i didn't have anything i walked away because god gave me something remember that so yes um i hope you learned something from this video if not for anything always remember to trust in god and just know that jesus has a better plan for you I'm telling you the truth no matter what like no matter if you think oh my god this i can never get out of this space god has a better plan for you and that's okay because i'm a living testimony mm -hmm. yes so thank you for getting to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to you know consider subscribing because our family is getting bigger we are getting happier we are glowing we are growing Ooh. and i want you to do the same okay 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 yes so you can also like this video very free you can tell me what you learned from this video you can tell me if you have ever had the worst or similar experience because i'm here for these stories because you know experiencing this mm -mm. I literally had to read books to even get out of that state like read books try and just be happy you know because you know the pre the thing they made me go through there is you know it didn't dent my self-image but it made me have to rethink a lot of things and i'm just happy i came out of that place i was in i'm so happy so yes happy beautiful day spanner Make sure to keep on being the best out there because I'm very, very sure that you're the best. Yes. Thank you for getting to the end of this video. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Do you see my hairstyle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tried to pack it different. That's why I know. <laughs> Please don't mind me. So thank you for getting to the end of this video, darling. You are the best. And I pray that as you get to your new job, you get a place that eh, will make you so happy so so happy i love you all have a beautiful day mm -hmm. hello and welcome back to spending week with you we do everything beauty lifestyle creating i just love creating content whether it's you know anything that just speaks to me i create content on it and that's what my channel is all about welcome to our family and i hope you enjoy your stay here today's video is about how i quit my job and if you watch the video before this you understand what i'm saying i got a new job and i just quit on the 50. yes so this is a story time on it love you all mm -hmm.